just because I, I I have to talk to Dolphin fan about this. Yeah. What do you give the off season? So have you been following it? How? It's like today. I haven't really followed it much today just now. In but up until this point, yeah, I have followed it until yeah, this point. What you thought? Terrible. Dude, I, 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 yeah. I, I yeah. made it work. I look, made it work with the situation we were in. We went all in. And I think that's one thing that I've come to terms with is like, you know what? I had last year I was wanting them to like, hey, stop the bullshit, go all in. This team's the real deal. And they did that. And then now they're having to recover financially. So if I was grading them on a curve and saying and taking into consideration their financial situation, I would say, you know, they did they did all right. Um, I, I get good, I guess, because like it was such a shitty, shitty financial situation to be in. Don't I'll be know. honest, maybe my foot being my mouth for this, but um, I'm gonna give them B plus A. I, Are we? And we're, and we're better. You expect to? Okay, so be better so than we were so That's offensively, so 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 I'll break down like this. Left tackle it, same. Uh, make it quick. No disrespect. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be fast. I'll be fast. Left tackle same. Left guard same right now. Center is a fundamental upgrade as far as getting the snap off, but he's a top ten center. Okay, so we got him. Then right guard is Robert Jones. It's not Robert Hunt, but he did start a lot of games for us. And then we have uh, a right tackle, Austin Jackson. So that's pretty much a wash. Two uh, running back room, the same receiver room brought back Braxton Berrios. Same. We we upgraded with Johnu Smith, who's a big, who's a after the run, Ooh. after the catch type of guy. Yeah, I like so, that. So so again, offense is the same or improve or more. He really explosive. didn't do shit in uh, Atlanta, but no, he I did like okay. that better. I like but, that better than what we have. Yeah. So so we, our offense got more explosive or the same. Okay. Defensively, we we lost okay, Christian Wilkins. Well, don't agree with that. Don't agree with what, that. Well, how? The, Who we really lose? Because the offensive line is so by Robert said, Hunt. Hunter Williams. You're assuming that you're assuming that it's an upgrade. I'm not so sure that the, that Aaron Brewster. I'm saying so. Well, I, I'm saying that that position is a wash. Well, I I'm not saying that confidently. I'm not. I like the signing, and we talked about that signing. But I mean, I think Connor Williams gave us a lot in the first half of the season until he got hurt. Yeah, he's really so, good. But I'm judging it off that, not fucking Liam Eikenberg. I mean, I like it way more than Liam. Well, Liam Eikenberg. He's not even our starter. I mean, really. We, no, but I'm saying he was our starter then. So I'm right, saying yeah. if you're judging it off of that portion of the season, then yeah, I think we've upgraded. But, but based off Connor Williams, where, where do you have Connor Williams better than Aaron than than Aaron Brewer? That's his name, Aaron or whatever. I think just overall Aaron. and also just being a veteran offensive lineman. I think that's I think that's a lot to bring to especially the position of center, which is uh, you know pretty. Uh, uh, there's a lot of a a lot of the mental onus that's put yeah. on the offensive line, put specifically on the uh, uh, center to know what's going on. Which so, Brewer is 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 a center that pulls a lot. Yeah. He's an athletic center, and I think all that's interesting. He, he yeah, fits I what think, we do much better. So, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. The offense and and then with the tight end again, I I'm just, just feel not like confident we're more to say that's an upgrade. By the way, then that's my then issue. defensively, that's what you're saying. our linebacking core is much better. Way better. Okay, agree with that. Or secondary, I would say, is better. I'd say Kendall Fuller is better than Xavier Howard at this point in their careers. Okay. I'd say that Jordan Poyer is an upgrade from uh, Deshaun Elliott. We can say he's 32, whatever. He had 111 tackles last year for Buffalo. So in the year before that, he led their team in the interceptions. The guy is is still a high IQ player who's going to be able to play this position, this defense well. What the thing is, this That's defense fine. doesn't call for uh your defense linemen to be the stars okay there's a, there are defenses who you want defense linemen to shoot gaps and be in the backfield and there are def, uh, defense schemes where you want them to be gap penetrators just hold just hold the line and let linebackers play yeah but it, that changes though when we see a situation like last year where we lost those edge rushers and we had to adjust our game plan a little bit. But it's middle and, linebackers, not edge. We're talking well, middle linbacker here. No, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm including I'm saying why well, I'm talking about I said defensive line. I right. That's so, a glaring space. So I'm saying like when we're I'll, I'll speak for myself. I don't know how you feel about this. Maybe this is part of why I don't feel great. Is we're going into another year now where Bradley Chubb has had another season ending injury. And then the same with Jalen Phillips, who I love. I love Jalen Phillips. I think he's awesome. And, and and I like Bradley Chubb, too, and I think he did a lot last year. But I think those are serious, genuine concerns that Jalen Phillips, specifically being somebody that actually quit playing football <laughs> right. at so, one point. But, so it's like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, right, no you're, so good. you're good. They're both projected to be, they, they beat their, where they've been in rehab. They're both expected back by week one. But in the meantime, we have Shaq Barrett. Jack yeah. Shaq Barrett, who's still playing high level football, not high level, but but productive football, is a rotational piece. Yeah. Okay. And again, Jordan Brooks is a massive upgrade from Jerome Baker. 
there. This guy is three out of four seasons. The one season it was, it was rookie year. He's had over 100 tackles, and one was 184 tackles. Yeah. He is a fantastic middle linebacker with Anthony Walker when healthy. He's a good middle linebacker. David Long's still there. Yeah. That right there makes up for the Christian Wilkins because one, our defensive line depth right now is much better than last year, which depth matters late in the season. We have sure. a nice rotation there to fit where our scheme is to fill and hold and let linebackers play, the middle linebackers. So, again, I think our defense – did not get worse. Yes, we lost a big piece of Christian Wilkins, but it is not basketball. This is not a single ISO sport. This is a 11 man yeah. on the field. So yes, it's a big loss, but we have and, built so much. And those units are so. I mean, I, well, the thing is, we have a fundamental disagreement. I think we're going to have to see about the defensive line. I think it has gotten much worse. I think that, and I think our offensive line is questionable. We're going to have to see. Like Robert Hunt was one of our most consistent piece that one hurts yeah so i agree we would have never wanted to or paid him that amount so that's why that's where the thing is that's where that's where that's where the difficulty comes in when talking about this because i understand that the position they were put in wasn't a good position so i appreciate your grade because i think that i could maybe come to that conclusion too if i was grading them a little bit more on a curve where i was well, like yeah well the the answer alvin's line again yeah. Uh, we signed Jack Jer Jake Driscoll from Philly, mm -hmm. who was a rotational piece last year, whenever that injury throughout the whole year, and was actually rated pretty well. But my whole point to all this is we we just cleared up by uh, we moved Bradley Chubb's contract to a signing bonus, eleven million dollars after June first. We're gonna have eighteen million. That's twenty nine million dollars. We're gonna have in cap. I think we'll have over thirty million dollars total in cap space after June first to make another two three moves. Yeah. Then you add. That what we did is we added depth and solid starters at every position of need. Okay. So right now, if we were to go into the season with this offensive line, it's not going to be, hey, we're happy with the offensive line, but the offensive line isn't going to lose us games. Tua has proven within this offense, especially with another year, that he gets the ball out quickly enough to where you don't need a top five offensive line. Using an offensive line is not going to get their ass kicked. So us improving in the run game offensively. Yeah. That uh, with the offense lineman with the center, that's going to help. So what that does, though, is for the draft, we don't have to overdraft for position of need. We just draft best available, whether that's the best defensive tackle, which Byron Murphy might fucking drop to us. And my God, you're talking about someone six, six feet tall, 300 pounds, running a, a four, eight, 40. Or you get a uh, 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 Tavion Sweat out of Texas, who's 6'5", 366, running a 5'2", but a 1.8, 10-yard split. There's so many defense tackles on the draft. You can draft a top four corner. You can draft a receiver who's going to be another playmaker. You can draft an uh, offensive lineman, which one's going to be there. They positions us to be able to draft the best player available who's going to be able to make an impact on our team. And then also, like I said, I have $29, $30 million left in cap space after that. So yeah. that's where it's like, this isn't even done, and there's not a hole in our team anymore. You can say that you want to upgrade, but Robert Jones, yeah. you saw Robert Jones last year. Oh, yeah. Was was he was he a sore spot on the team? Yeah, I'm just not – I'm not inspired. And also, I'm not that confident, in which I mean, I know you're very confident in Tua, but I don't even want to put him in that position. I think, like, putting him in a position where it's like Tua's going to – protect himself by getting rid of the ball so quickly that just is a that's just something i'm not interested in signing up for because i'm like i still don't know that if I mean, this is the truth with anybody but i'm more concerned with it with him um the right hit could take anybody out for their well, entire yeah. career for fuck's sake well, so it's like yeah for him i just i think it's it's not a and i know you're not saying this but it's like i, I think that he could be a really great quarterback i think that it is of utmost importance that we protect him. I don't want to cut corners on that. That's one place I don't want to cut corners on the team. I'd rather cut corners on defensive line than cut corners on offensive line because I think that our pat our offense in general can be such a X factor for us, such a multiplier for us compared to other teams that to cut corners on things like offensive line is something that really yeah, it really concerns me as far as if we're gonna if if we're gonna reach our our potential and be consistent. So go ahead. I mean, well, yeah. I I think that you're you're downplaying the players on the offensive line again. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, who, who's bad? I, I hope Austin I Jackson hope. is good, right? 
I like Austin Jackson, but I'm also not that much of a in Austin Jackson, to be honest, because we spent a lot of time with Austin Jackson being a fuck up and wanting to get paid. So, but I mean, look, at the same time, it, yeah. they need to develop. So, they need to develop. Uh, so, but like, 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 but like, also, but, but, but to be clear, Austin Jackson isn't somebody that you say their name and I'm immediately like, oh, we got a lockdown fucking go- uh, tackle. No, but, so, but, again, but he's also not someone that is a hole. So there is no said, hole yeah. on our offense line. Liam Eikenberg isn't a starter. Taron Arm <laughs> said, though, because you mentioned him. Injury prone, super injury prone, like almost to where you should go into the season expecting that he's not going to play six games. Like, <laughs> we play more than six, uh, no, I'm not saying no, I feel, no, yeah. no, that he's not going to play six games. So, I mean, he'll end up playing. Oh, okay, games, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but but my point being is that he's not going to make all the games. Um, so I mean, yeah, I, and I mean, here, which Connor Williams, rather, I, I, I read the article today because I thought maybe we cleared up money to sign him. Uh, I guess his, that knee injury is career threatening. So I don't know if he'll ever play. Yeah, I can imagine. Especially at his like age and stuff like that, you know. I mean but, he's a little bit older. But, but again, it's it's just we have no glaring hole. And I feel like that's your that's your thing for agency. And then we up improved. Like if our secondary is good last year, our secondary is better this year. I will say they filled so Sean honestly, Hand was a good player for us last year. Honestly, I mean, Isaiah, uh, not Isaiah Bucks, uh uh Benito Jones for for Detroit was a solid player last year for them. Yeah. On the defensive line, and that we sign, we. I don't. I, I'm not buying into defensive line. Like, I'm not buying into the defensive line being improved upon. But Although again, I do agree with you. No, I agree with you that you can mitigate that. And if you have to take a uh, hit somewhere, I mean, it sucks that yeah. you had a guy that was awesome, or and had yeah. several guys that were awesome. But so um, you had depth, and that's what we did. Yeah, and I think that's fine. But I think, but I, I'm not so sold on the secondary issue. I am worried about grab, grabbing uh, Jordan Poirier because as at a position like safety, we could see a drastic drop off after a year. Um, you're gonna, and, um, <laughs> uh, and I think you know he's a player that we have seen, from, uh, not production wise, but we have seen signs of him slowing down. That's why yeah. he's here. But Baltimore re- really uses that. Uh, I, I don't know how much of Baltimore's defense Weaver is going to bring in. Yeah, but from what I've watched, they they a lot of times use that strong safety as more of a third linebacker. Yeah. And you know, run stuffer, and then they kind of use that nickel. So that's where, like, I'm confident in in a Ramsey, Kohu, Fuller secondary. Yeah. And again, yeah. we can always draft. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like we're just well, in I mean, a position Fuller where nice move. we're going to be happy move. with our draft pick and yeah. be like, oh, we needed a guard. Fuller was a big move, and that does kind of like alleviate the Xavier Howard thing. Because I mean, if he's not better than Xavier Howard, he's at least able to produce what Xavier Howard was right. able to do at that point. So I do hear you there. Um, Jalen Ramsey is a year older. I love, love, love Jalen Ramsey. Uh, that's why it's like, I I just I'm concerned as a Dolphins fan because there's been so much wasted potential on the I Dolphins. Feel you. So it's like, I could easily see we've had so many times where we've had a unit be elite like I mean, Zach Thomas, Jason Taylor, Golden like, Years. What the fuck? We had some ballers, um, Patrick Sertan, Sam Madison. Like they were my we, we had Terrell Buck. We had monsters. Brock Marion. We had Tim they Bowens, were monsters. Daryl Gardner. They were completely wasted with fuck twats on the other side of the ball. Um, and Cleo Lemon. Yeah. <laughs> and, Ray Lucas. God, losers. And uh, Jay Fiedler, which was probably the best of those fucking bums. Do Chad? Um, do we have? If fucking, I ever seen him, I'd piss uh, right Josh. In Josh Beck. <laughs> From BYU, God, which I'm like 28 God. years so old. Fucking terrible. So, I mean, for many, 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 many years, like all the way up to Chad Henney and these guys. So, it's like, um, I don't want to fall into that pattern. I'm not saying that we are, but it's like protecting two is paramount. Um, being able to have a, I think even having, being able to have a dominant running game at moments we were able to see that, but I feel like we weren't able to dictate that. Right. If we played a team that had a, a stout run defense, they would stuff us. We couldn't do okay. shit. Um, so I'd like to be able to dictate that a little bit more. And with offensive line, I see us as giving ground, but I will concede to you in this way where it's like, I think some of those pieces we could see, hopefully see them progress. To be honest, Robert Hunt wasn't where he was last year, three years ago. You know what right. I mean? Like there was talk of possibly having to replace him and have to replace Austin, Austin Jackson, who's still on the offensive yep. line. So I think that, you know, with guys like Robert Jones, maybe we end up, uh, uh, getting something special yeah. there and 
and Aaron Brew. Uh, ho hopefully, he's able to bring. Dude, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, he's able to take his game. I'll to the have next to level. send you the film because because there's a. Well, I've seen some crazy shit with him we're, pulling we're, as a center. I yeah. played center. Like to see him pulling in the way that he was is actually fucking Bro, wild. He let block on two touchdowns against us with Derrick Henry around the ball. The yeah, one was wild. was he just sealed on Van Ginkle gave the outside shoulder when being edge. That's dumb. And he just washed him. But uh, he didn't give up any sacks against Christian uh, Wilkins and Zach Sealer. He held his own. Yeah, his so, overall pass rush grade was terrible. Though. Which, well, again, great. which again, that's terrible. PFF seeing, okay, this guy got beat. But how much of that is calls, protection calls, scheme, and pass off, him trying to protect yeah. for the guard? Again, I don't know. I'll have to point. watch. Here. But. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, well, well, I'm, no, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna move on. I, yeah. Well, you can go ahead. No, I'm we're just trying to be mindful of your time. We're at three hours in, so I'm we're good, vibing. Sure. Um, I do have these creeps of the week. <laughs> All right, creeps of the week. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing these because I get a lot of them and I love them. Uh, so there's these creeps on Instagram, and I love the these ladies and gents. Uh, they're awesome. I don't know why the fuck they do this. Like that's this is what I'm saying. I started to get so many of these videos that I'm like, I don't understand what satire is anymore. I don't think so. Uh, I'm enjoying these people, but I'm like, there's no way these people are fucking real life. <laughs> so here, actually, I'll start with this guy because I just uh, wake your sexy ass up. Tell me what you want for breakfast, and I'll get it for you. 